Hi, I'm attorney Justin McShane of the McShane Firm. What I want to do is talk to you a little bit about the fallacies of, of most of the pre-arrest breath test devices that are on the market today. I'm not talking about those ones that you get from Sharper Image. I'm talking about the supposedly sophisticated ones that the police use to help them determine whether or not they're going to arrest someone or take them downtown for breath testing or blood testing and start the process of a DUI. Now what they tell us is that these machines are specific only to alcohol and nothing else. And I'm going to show you how that just is not so. And what they try and do is they try and tell us machines like this one, which is one of the newer ones that's out on the market called the Alcosensor FST by Intoximeters is specific and will only react to alcohol and nothing else. And that is absolutely not true. Now I'm going to prove that to you how it's not true by looking at this regular old simple loaf of bread. Now this is wholesome small white bread that I got from our local giant. It's the same type of bread that's used all around this area to give our kids peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, for example or ham sandwiches for ourselves. We know that there's no alcohol in this product whatsoever, and this one's no exception. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prove to you that there's no shenanigans going on. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a blank test, and what will happen is that this result will come up as triple zeros to show that I have no alcohol in my system. Then we're gonna eat some bread, and we're gonna see what the result is. So here we go. analyzing comes back as triple zeros just like we suspected now let's eat some bread while I'm eating the bread we're gonna learn some other things that are important and we're just gonna grab a random old piece of bread as you can see from the bag there's no puddle of alcohol on the bottom and that is just perfectly dry, normal, everyday bread. Again, just regular bread. Nothing special about it, not soaked, not wet. So what we're gonna do is we're not even gonna put the whole piece in our mouth. We're gonna put most of it in. Captured sample, it's analyzing.
The result is a point zero four six. I couldn't even believe it. I had to look at it twice. That is an extremely high level. In the state of Pennsylvania, that is a big problem for three specific types of drivers. Number one, anyone who's under the age of 21, because your BAC cannot be above a .02. The second class is bus drivers, school bus drivers. If you drive a school bus, you can't be above a .02. CDL truck drivers. If you are driving a commercial truck and your BAC is above a .04 and it shows up on this, you're gonna be arrested. That is a major problem with these devices. And it just doesn't stop with the roadside devices. Sometimes with the big devices, they have problems too. That's where information is power. That's why having the right attorney who knows these things can go out there and make the difference between a guilty or a not guilty. We at the McShane firm not only understand this, but a lot of other problems that are with breath tests or even blood tests. So please call us today and allow us to defend you. Please trust us with your case. Thank you.